This is Doni Kachalari, a site in Maiduguri where around 340 families are living. All have fled their villages and are doing their best to survive. Both Haram forced us to flee Mafa. When they entered the town, they set fire to everything, so we had to escape. We came on foot to Maiduguri. Before we fled, they harassed us. They stole our money and motorcycles. First the men fled and then the women. Everything we left behind is lost. Like this woman, most of the displaced arrive with absolutely nothing, and the price of the most basic food supplies in the town have skyrocketed. Unsafe roads are jeopardizing trade with neighboring countries. Local farmers, too, are affected by the violence. They are already, all of them are already inside Meduguri, so you are not able to go to farm because of this insecurity. You will only buy the rice outside the state. Begging, selling wood, and when they don't have enough money, the only way people can eat is to wait for the woefully inadequate food aid distributions. We only get food once a month, and even then, we only get given three plates of food. And those three plates of food are finished within a week. Most of the displaced are living among the local community, rather than in camps, and they get no aid at all. So there's an estimated 1.4 million IDPs in Maiduguri. About 150,000 of them live in IDP camps. So we're talking about over a million people that are uh, internally displaced living in Maiduguri that are either living in makeshift settlements, living inside the host community, uh, living wherever they can. So those are the people that are really the hardest to target because they are not, uh, they're not visible. So MSF has begun distributing food in camps in Maiduguri like Faria. We're doing here in uh, Faria camp, we're doing a targeted food distribution. So that is uh, 25 kilograms of millet, 5 kilograms of beans, 5 liters of oil. And that goes out to all of the families that have children under five years of age. Um, and so that's basically the most vulnerable population in the camp gets uh, an extra ration of food to support them through the month. Since MSF teams started providing assistance in Borno State, they have witnessed alarming levels of malnutrition. Children under the age of five years are the most vulnerable and therefore the worst affected. But more unusually, Older children, adolescents even, are affected too and are being treated in therapeutic feeding centres.